In this example, looks like we have this trigonometric equation that we're going to solve. 3 tangent squared x minus 1 equals 0. And this value of x that we're going to be looking for will be in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So if you'd like to go ahead and try this first, go ahead and pause the video, do so, and come on back and we'll work it together. Okay, so looking at this equation, it seems like I just have tangent in one place, and it is a tangent squared, so I know ultimately I'll have to be taking the square root of both sides, but not quite yet. Let's go ahead and start by adding 1 to both sides of our equation. So I'll have 3 times tangent squared x equals positive 1. And let's go ahead and divide by 3 to finish kind of getting that tangent squared by itself. So I'll have one-third right here. Okay, so the square of tangent x equals one-third. Well, let's go ahead and take the square root of both sides so we can kind of get rid of that square and get the tangent x all by itself. But remember, when we do so, this non-perfect square side, I have to include a plus or minus with it. So we actually have plus or minus and then the square root of one-third, well, I could say that's the square root of one over the square root of three. So when I rationalize that denominator, it looks like I'll have the square root of three over three. And that's a much better value that we're more familiar with. All right, so we need to know at what angle, when we take the tangent of it, will we get the square root of three over three and without regards to sine, because we're gonna include positive and negative both. Well, the reference angle for tangent for the square root of 3 over 3 is going to be 30 degrees. All right, so that means when we're looking at our quadrants here, it's going to be every single quadrant because tangent is positive in the first and third, and it's negative in the second and fourth, so it's every quadrant. So from the x-axis, we'll be going up 30 here and here, and then down 30 here and here. So how can we measure all those? Well, it's 0 plus 30. Well, that's 30 degrees. And it's 180 minus 30, so that's 150 degrees. 180 plus 30, so that's 210. And 0 minus 30, or you can say 360 minus 30, and that'll be 330 degrees. Of course, all of these values are in degrees, but we need our answers to be in radians. So let's just go ahead and adjust those quickly. So 30 degrees will be pi over 6. 150 degrees will be 5 pi over 6. 210 is 7 pi over 6. And finally, 330 is 11 pi over 6. So we're actually going to have four solutions for this trigonometric equation. And four was because we had a plus or minus and we had the tangent of all of these values will be either positive or negative, square root of 3 over 3.